Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I am happy to be here with you today and I am bringing you a new bundle this week. Um, this week we're using the Christmas Scotty and it is a bundle that is in our mini catalog. It is a punch bundle and it is super, super cute. I think you guys are gonna love it. And you are going to enjoy um, all of the projects that I have made with it. You will get six days of projects, um, five videos, maybe six, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> and um, this is located on page 34 of your mini catalog. If you need a demonstrator and you would like to choose me as your demonstrator, let me know. I'd be happy to send you a catalog. Um, this mini catalog it has a lot of great things in it. They go for six months. This is the cover of it. And it's on page 34. Super cute bundle, only $36.75. And it has a cute doggy punch. And um, it's called the Scott, Scotty Dog Punch. And the cute stamp set to go with it. You're going to really enjoy the projects with this. So... Let's go ahead and get started. I also used for today's project, the Cascading Ruffles um, embossing folder. It's a beautiful embossing folder. Let's go ahead and clear off my desk and we will get started on our project. This is the card we're making. So it's a pretty simple card. We're adding a few plaids and one of the plaids um, we have made ourselves with this cool stamp that is part of the stamp set. So in the stamp set, there is this stamp here that does a really cool plaid and you can stamp that and that's what I used here. So let's go ahead and get started. So we start with a piece of five and a half by eight and a half. This is Mossy Meadow. And we're going to join the corners, grab my bone folder, there we go. So this is the front of our card. Then I have a piece um, of crumb cake cardstock. It's five inches by three and three quarter inches. That's going to go right here. We're going to stamp this ribbon piece at the bottom and we're going to stamp that with mossy meadow ink. So let's go ahead and ink that up. Make sure it's nice and inked, and it is. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp that. Actually, I wanna make sure that I have even pressure. There we go. Right along here. So this is goes on the bottom. And our whole card <laughs> is going to be attached onto this layer here. And then on the inside of our card, we're going to put a piece of crumb cake as well. And this one is five and a quarter by four inches. And we are going to do this curly ribbon, one at the top and one at the bottom. So there is one. And I'm going to turn it and have them go the opposite direction. And this one will be here. This is gonna go on the inside of our card. All right, and so the only other thing we will be stamping is may your days be furry and bright. I think that's such a cute sentiment. We'll also be stamping that in this Mossy Meadow. I'm just gonna close it for right now. I will put my stamp on there so I can remind myself to use that. This one we're going to go ahead and clean. Using my Simply Chamois. And it's a little squeaky so I think it needs some water. <clears throat> I will rectify that by the next video. <laughs> Let's go ahead and insert this piece inside of our card. So I'm going to grab my silicone mat. I like to assure that I'm not making a mess, so I do use that when I use my wet glue. Wet glue is my glue of choice. It's strong and economical. 
and the most important part for me is the wiggle room that it gives me when I put it on my card. If I need to slide it over, I can and make sure that my piece is straight. All right, so there's the inside. <clears throat> now, we're gonna build everything onto this crumb cake piece. And so I have a um, piece of real red cardstock that's two and three quarter inches squared that I have run through that cascading ruffle die. How, I mean, not die, embossing folder. How cool is that? So for those of you who don't know how to use these embossing folders, let me open it up and show you. You will take your embossing folder and open it and put your piece of, you know, cardstock wherever I think I put mine right about there. And then you run it through your die cut machine with the plate that goes with this. If you're using the Stampin' Cut emboss machine, it does plate number four with the base plate number one. And then that will run that through. This is a 3D embossing folder, so it only needs plate number four. Um, and the actual embossing machine will tell you what plates you need based on what you are using. So these are really amazing. And I love this one in particular. I think it's so pretty. I love that um, piece. So that's going to go up here. And we're going to use dimensionals to pop that up and so I'm going to put one in each corner and one in the middle and I like to use my take your pick tool to pull the backs off and then this little cascade is going to go right here at the top and I'm going to center it at the top of my piece of crumb cake. All right, we have a piece of cottage. Um, oh my gosh, now the name has totally like left my brain for this designer series paper. What is the name of it? Gingham Cottage, I think. Gingham Cottage. So this is um, a piece of Gingham Cottage. It is one and a half by three and a half inches. And we are going to come in from the side here and come in from this side right here to meet that. And that will make this piece. And then this one is going to get attached and I'm gonna slide it up under here and that's gonna get attached. Then I have stamped already in the Mossy Meadow um, a piece, make sure you push in the center, see how I didn't there, um, a piece of this. And I've already, I already had one. You can get two from each um, one. So I already had one that I had cut. So two of them from each one. I've cut a piece that has one, two, three, four, five little rows. And it's the whole length of the stamp. So see? There's the stamped image. Actually, let me just show you it right here. So it's the whole length and then five rows. I can give you dimensions, but you won't really need them when you're cutting it. I just cut them by hand. So it's about one inch by two and a quarter approximately. And so I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna come from the corner and <clears throat> I'm gonna meet it from the other side. Come on, come on. Make sure oh, I didn't go all the way up. There we go. So there is that piece. It's gonna get attached on the top. Let's go ahead and put this one down first. So um, this piece I'm gonna attach with some wet adhesive. And again, I love the wiggle room that it gives me. You can see the back is a different plaid. So this is a beautiful um, gingham, they call it, um, pack of paper, cottage gingham. But I think it's beautiful. I love um, any kind of 
buffalo check, plaid, gingham, all of those textures are fun and I enjoy them. So I'm slipping that just underneath my piece, just like that. And I'm gonna stamp the May Your Days Be Furry and Bright in Mossy Meadow, right down here. And I'm just kind of lining it along the bottom edge. So there we go. Now we will use dimensionals to um, pop up our um, second gingham, the one that we stamped. So I'll flip that over. And I won't need any dimensionals at the top because as you see, it's laid over this and this has already been lifted. So we're gonna put them at the bottom. See if I can get that one in there. There we go. I'm gonna put one more, kind of a little bit up and in the middle and we'll pull those off. The reason I use my take your pick tool to take the backs off is that it helps for them to um, stay. So I'm still gonna put adhesive and it's gonna be a wet adhesive at the top because I want it to stick to that red paper but I don't want it to be lifted anymore up there because it's already lifted. So I'm just trying to even out the lift. So we will go ahead and attach that and I will slide my finger along that edge there press down on my dimensionals. So there's that little point. Looking good so far, guys, right? All right, let's go ahead and attach this onto our card and then we just have the puppy to go. So we will use our, oops. See, I almost got off the line. This is why I put, always use my silicone mat, but I forgot to grab it. But I'm always afraid I'm gonna get adhesive where I don't want it. So let's go ahead and put this into place. And we have a little bit of wiggle room so we can slide it and get it even. There we go. All right, so the final thing we're gonna do is our puppy. And so I am using just a scrap of basic white cardstock. I'm gonna be using crumb cake. Since we used the crumb cake cardstock, I decided to make my puppy crumb cake. All right, we're gonna stamp him on this piece right here. Isn't he precious? So cute. And one tip that I have for this set is I like the pup. I think he's adorable, but I think that he needs a black eye and a black nose. So I have used my Stampin' Write marker. You can purchase this separate. I believe it's $3. So I'm gonna draw him a little nose and then I'm gonna draw the eyeball here. And I think makes it so much cuter, doesn't it? And we're gonna punch him out with the punch. So we're gonna open the punch up and we're gonna slide him into place. And when I have a scrap paper that I'm using, I just use my finger or my um, take your pick tool and get him lined up the way I want him. And when I have him in place, I'm gonna slide him up a little bit. I think that's good. Nice border all the way around him. Don't you think that was? I think that's pretty good there. I'm gonna go ahead and punch that and slide out my paper. This can be discarded. We're gonna take him and we're gonna give him some dimensionals. This time I'm gonna put a large one here and here and then we're gonna use some small ones because um, he has that skinny tail 
and I just want to do some fill-ins like on his face here down at this bottom I couldn't get that big one in there and then what I'm gonna do is I keep the edges on the mini dimensionals when I'm done with them and I cut strips when I need um, just thin skinny pieces so I will sorry for my alarm on my phone there I'm gonna use this one for the ear so that I can get that piece up there and then this one's gonna be for the tail and that should be plenty of dimensionals for this cute puppy all right and again I will use my take your pick tool even for these strip pieces to pull them up I will do those first and then the minis and then these big guys and one more I like that they all stick here and then I can just take them right to my trash can and make sure they all end up in there and not on my craft room floor. That's the beauty of using um, the take your pick tool. How cute is this little guy? All right, the final step is gonna be some bling and I'm using the real red rhinestones, not real red, red rhinestones. And I'm using the take your pick tool again, only this time the putty end and I will grab a few of these guys put them on my card there we go just to add a little bit of bling here and there I think that turned out great I hope that you enjoyed this card <clears throat> it's a pretty simple card but I think it's a lot of fun definitely check out the Christmas Scotty stamp set and punch the bundle and don't forget about this really cool cascading um cascading ruffle embossing folder i know it's horrible to film with this plastic <laughs> anyway i hope that you guys have enjoyed my video um give me a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my channel subscribers. Um, it, even if you don't want to buy anything from me, it costs you nothing to share my video, to give me a thumbs up, and to subscribe. So thanks for being here. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Heart, Warm Hearts. Happy stamping! And by the way, in the description, if you do want to purchase from me, all of the links are there for all the products that I use today. Thanks for being here. See you tomorrow, guys.